Hey y'all, my name is Tammy and this is Uniquely Home. I thank y'all so much for joining me today on today's video. We're going to be decorating the living room and on the past videos we've already decorated the foyer, the dining room, and the kitchen. So if y'all haven't watched those videos, please go back and watch those. And at the end of this one today, I'm actually going to give you like a panoramic view of all the spaces. I do have an open concept floor plan, so from the living room, you can see all of those spaces that we've already done, and this will just give you an idea of how everything's laid out in my home. I do hope that y'all enjoy this video today. I also want to thank y'all so, so much for all your support, your kind words, the comments that y'all given me. I've tried to respond to everyone. I appreciate them all. Um, I love y'all. I thank y'all so much for subscribing and sharing with your friends, and I hope y'all continue to do so. Again, thank y'all so, so much. I appreciate y'all more than you'll ever know. And let's get into today's video. There will be a lot of cleaning in today's video, y'all. But I do like to wipe everything down before decorating just to have a clean slate. It's much easier to clean when it's empty than when there's a bunch of stuff in there. Are y'all like that? The white vase and the olive stems are from Hobby Lobby. Both of the gold frames are thrift finds and the prints are digital downloads from Etsy that I had printed. I have a brass candlestick from the thrift store. And that small lamp was a vintage find, and that's got to be one of my favorites. On the next shelf, I'm going in with some books. A handmade pottery piece that I found at Goodwill. If you'll notice when I'm styling this cabinet, that I'm mostly focusing on the sides. And that's because when the doors are closed on this cabinet, most everything in the center is covered up. That large piece is also a handmade pottery piece that was a Facebook market find. And to add a touch of gold to this shelf, I'm going in with two Hobby Lobby candlesticks and one from Goodwill. On this next shelf, I'm adding another art print, a set of brass looking keys from Hobby Lobby. Both of those bases were from Hobby Lobby. The black one used to be a blue color and I just painted it black. And another stack of books. Here's a look at how it turned out. It looks a little more busy on camera than it does in person. I guess it's the mirrored effect showing everything is double. Now moving on to the mantel, let's just give it a good clean. The black iron candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby. As well as the two stone vessels. Going in with a set of books. And this small little wooden box was a gift from my grandbaby. She painted Mimi on the top 
and filled it with rocks, which is one of her favorite things. And that's the most precious gift ever. Then I just went in with a piece of greenery and added some artwork to the frame TV. I just wanted to pop in and share with y'all this museum wax. It comes from Amazon. If you have a hard time getting your candlesticks to stay in place, if they're crooked and don't want to stay, just put a little bit of this around it and on the bottom and it works like magic. Very well worth its money, y'all. Try it. Okay, y'all, in this clip, I'm going to show you how I take the curtains from looking like that to looking like this and any time that you open and close the curtains they'll always look like that and it looks so much more put together. So I used a piece of PVC pipe. My husband cut it into three inch sections and you'll see how I place them. Just make sure that you get a large enough diameter pipe to fit onto your curtain rod. And y'all, a designer trick to make your spaces look taller is to always hang your curtains as close to the ceiling as possible. This gives the illusion of a taller space. Something I don't like about my curtains is that they huddle onto the floor and I'm constantly getting caught in the vacuum cleaner. But y'all, I don't know how to sew. So I'm going to do some no sew hemming with some of this hemming tape. And my curtains just happened to work out perfect. I didn't have to measure or anything. I just took the current hem and flipped it up and that was just enough. So much better. Now moving on to the sides of the fireplace. I got these tall wrought iron candlesticks from Facebook Marketplace. And on the other side, just adding in this wooden lantern and this vase that I got from Goodwill. It used to be like a Christmas green and I just gave it a coat of spray paint. These candles are another one of my favorites. They're the Luminera brand from QVC. They're a little more expensive than the Amazon ones but they look so much more realistic. Next, I'm adding the coffee table and two side chairs. I've been thinking about getting a round coffee table. I feel like it might make the space look a little more cohesive. I've got so many angled pieces that I feel like round may work better. What's y'all's thoughts on that? I just went in with the book by Joanna Gaines called Homebody. The picture is from Hobby Lobby as well as the candlesticks. to have a few throw pillows. I try to keep it minimal. We do have a few on this side. These pillows are from Bell's Outlet. They're super soft. They have removable covers so it's easy to clean and they're chopable. Now 
now on this wall that leads into the kitchen. I'm just hanging these window panes from Hobby Lobby. And when I bought them, they both would hang the same direction. So what I did was remove the hooks from the back and put them on the other end. So now when I hang them, they both face inward. Just hanging some spring looking greenery, also from Hobby Lobby. Over here is our little fur baby's house. I'm just gonna add a lamp. And I hate cords, so I just try to hide them where I can. At least this one's clear. I can put it behind this little cabinet and the curtain hides most of it. Now I would open these blinds, y'all, but coming up soon, we're gonna have a back patio makeover. So I don't wanna give away too many details just yet. Y'all, I just thought I'd take this chance to introduce our little fur baby to y'all. Her name is MJ. She's sweet, but she is a licker. I've been washing all her bedding today, and she hasn't been very happy with me about that. So let's get it all fixed back together for her. One thing that I didn't show y'all in the kitchen video is I have one cabinet that we put in for our fur baby as well. And we put the dog door inside the cabinet so she can just get in and out. But if we don't need it to function as a dog door, then I can just close the cabinet. This keeps us from having to take her in and out every time she wants to go, and she seems to love it. This is the last wall, y'all. This print I got from Etsy. I sent them a picture of our home. They printed it, sent it to me, and I just put it in a frame. And these sconces are from Amazon. They're battery operated. And they have a remote.
That's it for today's video, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I hope you got some inspiration for your own spaces. Make sure you join me again next week at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday when I upload new videos every week. Thank y'all so much for liking, subscribing, share it with your friends, and please go back and watch the previous videos. Thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed week.